Hello friends and welcome to Arupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, as we have started with a very important unit of our syllabus that is hydrogen. And to understand this unit more easily, I have subdivided this whole unit into some few important subtopics where basics of hydrogen and position of hydrogen in the periodic table we have already discussed in our previous sessions. So today we shall discuss about the similarity between hydrogen and alkali metals. So friends, let's start the session with the similarity between hydrogen and alkali metal. So before starting with the discussion, let's revise the alkali metals. So what are the alkali metals? Alkali metals are nothing but the when we talk about the modern periodic table, they are the extreme left elements. That is, they are the group 1 elements. Mostly they are called alkali metals. And the element present in this group are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. Basically, these are called alkali metals. And they the metallic character increases when we move from top to bottom in a group. And also the reactivity increases when we move from top to bottom in the group. So let's discuss about the elements that is lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Where we can say that the lithium is the smallest element in this group and francium is the biggest element in the group. That is this lithium have the smallest atom that is the atomic size we can say that increases when we go move down the line in the group. So now let's discuss some few characteristics of this group where first is the electron configuration which is NS1 and when we talk about the valence electron yes they have one valence electron in their outermost shell and they lose this valence electron very easily so we actually call them you can say the great reducing agents when they are used in some chemical reactions and they are most reactive metals when we compare to all the other group members that is all the other members of elements which are basically metals friends these alkali metals also strongly react with water and uh, yes as i have just told you that they the reactivity increase when we move down in the line that is when we move from top to bottom the reaction the vigor of reaction increases down the groove friends the alkali metals are also too easily oxidized to be found in the free state in the nature now friends let's discuss these property with respect to the hydrogen how they are similar with these properties let's discuss one by one let's now first discuss the electronic configuration of these two group and hydrogen well what is electronic configuration friends we all know that electrons are negatively charged and so they form a cloud of negative charge outside the nucleus and in this cloud the electrons are arranged according to the potential energy in the different energy levels and these energy levels of the electrons are denoted by some few numbers that is a numeric number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 whereas the shells are represented by the alphabetical order that is K, L, M, N, O, P so on as we have already discussed in our sessions that the first energy level we call them a K shell second energy level the L shell third be M and fourth be N and so on. And this arrangement of electrons in the various shells of the atom of the element, we call them electronic configuration of the element. If we see the similarity between the hydrogen and alkali metal, yes, they have only one electron in their outermost orbit or you can say the shell. That is, if we compare with the hydrogen and alkali metal, two members of alkali metal, that is, lithium and sodium with the atomic number 3 and 11 we have 2 and 1 in the lithium and 281 that is the outermost shell 
contains only one electron that is we call them a one valence electron in the outermost shell well basically when we talk about the electronic configuration we should always need two things that is we should know the number of electrons in one atom of the element and also we should know the maximum number of electrons that can be commutated in different shells of the atom so this is the similarity between the hydrogen and alkali metal with the first characteristics we call it electronic configuration now let's understand the electropositive character of both the element group that is hydrogen and the alkali metals where it is the tendency of element to lose or donate electron to form a positive ion in the chemical reaction well in my few sessions in the characteristics of element we have discussed the electropositive character of the element in the modern periodic table so you can always refer to that video to know the basic concept of the electropositive characteristics of the element here we are discussing about the similarity between the hydrogen and alkali metal where we can see that each of them can form a cation that is we call it a positive ion by losing one electron so the chemical reaction will happen when hydrogen loses electron that is it forms a h positive ion and releasing a valence electron here in alkali metals lithium does the same and sodium does the same so now if we talk about the valency friends what is the valency valency of an element is a measure of its combining power with another other atom or element when it form a chemical compound or a molecule as we all know that the valency of a group remains same for all elements that is in all alkali metal group that is lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium all will be having same electron valency that is one and yes if we talk about or the similarity between the electron valency of hydrogen and alkali metals they yes they have they both have the plus 1 valence electron so this is one more similarity between the hydrogen and alkali metal now let's talk about the combination with the non metals friends hydrogen and other alkali metal react very easily with the non metal like halogens oxygen and sulfur etc this actually i have already discussed in my previous session when we were talking about the position of hydrogen in the modern periodic table and mendeleev periodic table so where where i have already cleared this concept how they form the similar kind of reaction with non metals so both mel alkali metals and hydrogen react and form the same molecular formula of compound they form for example hydrogen when react with oxygen sulfur and chlorine it forms h2o h2s hcl similarly with the alkali metal let's suppose we are taking the example of sodium when react with oxygen it gives na2o when reacts with sulfur it gives na2s and similarly when reacts with chlorine it's it gives the compound as nacl so hence we can say that when hydrogen combined with non metal and alkali combined with the same non metal or oxygen and sulfur they form the same compound that with the same molecular formula so now if we talk about the next category that is the reducing agent you cannot say the category yes you can say the property where we can find that how the alkali metals and hydrogen are similar to each other to start with the similarity concept let's understand what is the reducing agent friends reducing agent is the element or compound that loses an electron to other element or compound to form a stable compound that is 
we have just discussed about the characteristics of alkaline metals where i just told you that alkaline metals are very good reducing agent when we they are pushed into any chemical reaction so if, for example if the hydrogen is reacted with the cuo that is copper oxide it gives copper and water similarly with the alkaline metal when react with the sodium it gives copper and na2o so the reactions are uh, quite similar to each other so that is they both are a very good reducing agent that is they lose easily their valence electron and to the other element or compound to form a stable compound so ye here we also uh, say that they both are similar and they both are very good reducing agent as friends we have discussed that hydrogen is similar to alkali metals we should also discuss the similarity between the hydrogen and he halogens as the hydrogen has always been a very special element because it gives the similarity between the alkali metals as well as the halogen so now let's understand with some few characteristics of halogen which are very similar with the characteristics of hydrogen like if we talk about the physical state yes like halogen hydrogens are two in a gaseous form and the metallic character yes halogens and hydrogens also behave that is we know that halogens are the non metals and sometimes hydrogen also behave as a non metallic that is it also behave as a non metal now if we talk about the valency both have a valency of 1 that is as we have already discussed that hydrogen has the one valency similarly halogens also have a valency of 1 that is metal are can liberately hydrogen from water and they vary in reactivity towards the water so this is the kind of hydrogen as the it is very special element is always treated as a special element and the position of the hydrogen is very you know controversy or debatable and now if i talk about the diatomic molecule both exist in the form of diatomic molecule because hydrogen can never form in a free state they always form or be stable into diatomic molecule as well as if we talk about the hydrogen they also are found in the diatomic molecule and when we talk about the tendency to form an anion yes as halogens gives the are very good oxidizing agent hydrogens are also very good oxidizing agent as well as the reducing agent when we talk about or compare with the alkali metals and now if we talk about the halogens they are also very good oxidize agent and the hydrogen very good they form an negative ion for example if hydrogen donates or receives any electron they give a negative ion similarly if we talk about the halogen with the example of chlorine it also takes electron and form a negative ion we call it a anion so this is the whole concept which we are talking about the similarity between the hydrogen and alkali metal and also with the similarity between hydrogen and halogens well friend this is mainly because some of the properties of hydrogen resembles to the property of group 1 elements and while some other are similar to those of group 7 element that is a halogen so hydrogen we can say at as it is having a dual nature and it resembles alkali metal of group 1 and also resembles to halogen group 7 so here i end up with my session of the 
similarity between the hydrogen and alkali metals. So in next session, we shall discuss about the preparation of hydrogen. Well, since water, acids and alkali contain hydrogen, they form the cheapest raw material for the preparation as well as for the manufacturing of hydrogen. So in next session, we shall discuss about the preparation of hydrogen with various methods. Thank you. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos.